Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Infosys System Engineer on campus hiring is going for 2026 batch students. And on this YouTube channel, there is an Infosys preparation series videos that are going on. In this particular video, I will be discussing the previously asked verbal ability questions of Infosys System Engineer exam. Around 8 to 10 questions I will be discussing in this video. So make sure to watch this video till the end because each and every question can, can be helpful for you and, and it might repeat in your exam as well. Okay. And guys, previously also on our YouTube channel, as I've told you, that Infosys System Engineer preparation series is ongoing. So there is a dedicated playlist for it wherein for every section that is coming in your Infosys exam, we are making videos on this channel. Whether it is the aptitude questions, English uh, grammar questions, logical reasoning questions, pseudo codes, all the different type of questions we are covering on in this particular playlist. Uh, the link of this playlist I will give you in the i button or in the description box. Do check it out. And guys, if you have any doubts regarding any of the companies, uh, you can always write in the comment section or you can join this telegram group. It's dedicated for 2026 batch students. If you want more such videos for any company, any section, you can write in the comment section. I will be happy to make it. Okay. So guys, now let's start this video. Before starting the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because each like and subscribe motivates me for making more such videos. So now let's continue with the video. Okay, so guys, the first question is the para jumble. So you will be given four sentences PQRS and you need to form a complete sentence using these particular sentences. Okay, individual sentences. Now, what should be the correct order for it? So let's just see this question. So first PQRS different sentences are given to us. Let's just see what can be the correct sentence. So if uh, see in this type of questions, what you can do is you can uh, do hit and trial. Like if, if you, you can follow uh, the first option QPRS. Does QPRS make any sense? So let's just see. To provide training to people of the villages in order to make them technically proficient in the job they take up, then in different jobs, the government should make arrangements. So this does not make any sense. So the first option is wrong. It does not make any sense. Next is second option. That is SQRP. So SQRP means the government should make arrangements to provide training to people of the villages in different jobs in order to make them technically proficient in the job they take up. Now guys see, this made lot much sense than before. So this is the correct option here. Okay, now for every option you need to do hit and trial for this. But it will be very fast. It, it won't be much time consuming. So in these type of questions, try to do hit and trial for every option and then choose the correct sentence that make more sense. So here the correct option is two. I hope this question is clear to you. Now let's move towards the next question. Next is sentence correction. Because of his mastery in yoga, his yoga academy have grown in popularity. So this have grown will be replaced by these four options. Again, you need to do hit and uh, trial and you need to eliminate the options. So uh, first option is work growing. So let's see because of his mastery in yoga, his yoga academy were growing. So it is not the correct thing to say. Next is because of his mastery in yoga, his yoga academy is grow in popularity. No, again, not the correct option. Next is because of his mastery in yoga, his yoga academy is growing in popularity. So yeah, this made lot more sense. Okay. And then next option is has growing. Has growing is again, not a correct form. So the correct option will be third. That is, is growing. I hope now this question is also clear to you. Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Infosys System Engineer Preparation Material. So every section that is coming in your Infosys exam, we have the previously asked actual questions of those sections. Whether it is the aptitude section, logical reasoning, verbal ability, pseudo codes, puzzle game, English grammar. So each and every section, at least 100 plus previously asked questions of Infosys exams are there. If I will show you the sample of, let's suppose the aptitude, we have the proper question, option and the correct answer. Similarly, for logical reasoning, we have the options, we have the correct question options and the correct answer. Similarly for puzzles also we have lot of questions which can come or get repeated in your exam. We have the proper puzzle question and we have the correct answer for it. So if you are interested in this material because the best way to prepare for any exam is by solving the previously asked questions of that exam. So if you are interested in this, this material the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So do check that out. Okay. So now let's continue with the video. Okay. The next question is 
the sentence below has been divided into three parts. Select the part of the sentence that has an error. If the sentence has no error, select the option no. Okay. So Hong Kong has been endowed with one of the finest natural harbor in the world. Now, see what three parts is. What is the three part? First part is Hong Kong has been endowed. Next is with one of the finest natural harbor in the world. This is the third sentence. Now, guys, see the correct option here is the part of the sentence which has error is this three, this one, B part, harbor in the world. Why? Because see, we are using that Hong Kong is one of the finest natural harbor in the world. So it will be, if it use one of the finest, then it should not be natural harbor. It should be natural harbors. Okay is one of the finest natural harbors in the world. So this is the correct form. So therefore the uh, error is in this particular harbor in the world. I hope it's clear to you. Next question is synonym. Select the synonym of the given word. Now guys, what is synonym? If I talk about uh, a synonym, it means the same form. So if, if you want to uh, name the synonym of course, this is the word. So we should select that option which has the same meaning as that this word coerce. So coerce means force. Okay. So this means force. So out of these four options, which of them means force? So it is pressurize. If you will, you will look closely. So synonym can be pressurize. Okay. I hope this particular question is clear to you. Now, next question if I talk about is antonym. Antonym means vilom shabd. It is opposite of that word. So, the word for which we need to find an antonym is extend. So, the simple uh, antonym of extend will be condense because extend means to expand. Okay, expand. So, condense means to reduce. So, simple antonym of extend will be condense. I hope this question is also clear to you. Next question is fill in the blanks. The Himalayas are located dash the northern frontier of India. So let's just see again hidden trial options you will need to do. So first one is along the northern frontier of India. One of the correct options aside the northern frontier of India. No sense in the northern frontier of India. Again, not much above the northern frontier of India. No. So it will be along the northern frontier of India. Along is the correct option here. I hope it's clear to you. If you have any doubts, you are free to write in the comment section or join the diagram group wherein you can ask your doubts for different different companies. Next is again, you are given five small words and you need to form a sentence using those words. So to see went grandmother, she, her. So she went. So the correct will be she went to see her grandmother. So it will be four, two, one, five, three, four, two, one, five, three. 42153. This is the correct option here. So she went to see her grandmother. I hope this question is clear to you. Now, now guys, the last question of this video is you need to find the error in this particular sentence. The famous Dr. Chandra is only dentist in our village or no error. So this particular question is your homework. Please write in the comment section that in this particular sentence, what is the error? Is there any error or no error? And do mention your reasoning also in the comment section and please do comment about this particular question. I hope all the questions that I've discussed in this video are clear to you. I am trying to make different different types of I have tried to uh, gather different different types of questions which can be asked from you in the verbal ability section. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because again every like and subscribe motivates me for making more such videos. And as I've told you in the mid uh, in the video as well that on our top mid page of code bachelors we have Infosys system engineer preparation material for 2026 batch students wherein all the sections that are coming in your Infosys exam previously asked actual questions of those sections are there in this particular material okay if you are interested the links are in the description box as well as in the print comment do check them out thank you for watching this video